Hello, hello, my name is Masha Nuts and welcome to another Not With Me. Today I'm making this beautiful ladybug friendship bracelet. I had so much fun making this and um, I'm happy that you're here to join me. If this is your first Not With Me, then be warned that this is not a tutorial. I am simply making the bracelet, I'm not explaining how to do them. In fact, this is an alpha bracelet, so there wouldn't really be a tutorial for this specific pattern anyway, because with alpha bracelets, you just kind of have to, you know, follow the pattern. But if you want to learn how to follow patterns, I do have a tutorial for that, which will be linked in the card and in the description. Um, but yeah, this is just a, a video in which I am making the bracelet. I filmed the entire process from start to finish, and then I sped it up so me and you can, you know, sit and hang out. <laughs> I, I like to imagine that you guys are also making braces um, while watching these and oftentimes you do comment that you are so that's really nice to know. But yeah I usually just chat with you guys about whatever I feel like chatting with you guys about and uh, today's no different so here I am making a ladybug friendship bracelet. As I said I had a lot of fun making this. I think it was just over five hours in total which is a long time. <laughs> Um, but it was a lot of fun. I was listening to an audiobook. What was I listening to? I think I was listening to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy when I was making this, uh, both book four and five, because they're quite short. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I was doing. But this was a really fun one. I really like repeating patterns, actually. Like, they're a pretty big trend um, right now and also for the past few years. I feel like it's a, you know, quite a big trend that hasn't actually died down yet. A lot of people make these um, as patterns and as bracelets as well. There's plenty, plenty of patterns out there. And I really like how they look visually and I really like how it looks when other people make them. But for some reason, I haven't actually made that many myself. I've made a few. Uh, I made a strawberry one, which I actually did for a knot with me, as well. Um, which I'll leave linked if you wanna, if you wanna see that as well, maybe. But uh, I haven't actually made that many of these. Well, yeah, I'll, apart from the strawberry one, I can't think of anything else that I've done. <laughs> actually, now that I'm saying that, but. Um, point is, where I was going with this whole thing is uh, I made a mistake in that strawberry one. <laughs> I made a pretty big mistake where you'll see further along sort of, you see how this ladybug is kind of the first one, right? It's kind of sitting and looking forward, you know, like it's facing away from me as I'm making the bracelet. Yeah, it's supposed to flip, um, which I did correctly in this tutorial, tutorial, not with me. See, even I'm getting these videos mixed up. Uh, I did it correctly here. They're supposed to flip. So you've got this like section with the ladybug in the center, and then you've got the section with uh, sort of two ladybugs on the sides, which is what I'm making now in the time lapse. Um, and then, you know, after that, you're gonna have another section with the ladybug in the center. And when you have the ladybugs in the center, they're supposed to switch. Like one of them is supposed to look away from you, and the other one is supposed to look towards you. And they're, you know, they switch every, every other ladybug, basically. And um, when I was making the, the strawberry one, I didn't realize that. I thought I was so smart. I was like, this entire pattern is so long, right? I think it was like, I don't know, 70 rows or something. And I didn't feel like scrolling. So I was like, I'm just gonna highlight this section, which was like the first strawberry and then um, the like halved strawberries for the repeating part. Uh, and I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna highlight this section and I'm just gonna continue doing that without scrolling. Cause what's the point? It's the same anyway. And then I didn't realize that you're actually supposed to flip it and have it be upside down. So I, I made a mistake at that one. And then after that, I just, it was so funny to me because I thought I was so smart by like not scrolling and I was like, oh, I'm saving myself so much time by not having to scroll all the time. When in reality, I was actually being um, rather, rather stupid <laughs> in that specific situation. Um, so that's kind of funny. But yeah, I made sure not to make that mistake again because that was really annoying. It still, it turned out fine in that one and it probably would have turned out fine in this one had I made that mistake again, but like, I just was annoyed with myself that that even happened, so. I wanted to not do that. See, yeah, here I'm, I'm sort of starting to knot the ladybug and this time it's gonna be facing towards me. So that's cute. But yeah, I really like this pattern. Um, I've actually had this pattern on my to-do list for a really long time. I've been wanting to make it for ages and I just never got around to it until I finally did. <laughs> I was looking for something spring related. I really like doing seasonal bracelets, um, specifically spring and summer related bracelets because that's just, you know, Friendship bracelets, to me, feel like a very spring and summer activity. Even though obviously I make bracelets all year round and I very much enjoy, actually I say that, I actually really enjoy making autumnal friendship bracelets because there's like a bunch of leaves and then you've got Halloween and you can make like Halloween bracelets. And I actually really like winter bracelets too because then you've got like Christmassy ones and, and ones with snow and stuff. You can make like snowflakes. Okay, so maybe I just like seasons overall. Uh, <laughs> maybe I just do. Um, but yeah, I, I really like sort of spring and summer related ones. I like to make sort of flowers and 
little um, butterflies and sort of insects and just animals in general. Um, in fact, the next uh, Not With Me that I'm going to be sharing with you guys after this one is going to be a flowers-related one as well. I've actually already filmed that. Um, so, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of spring-related ones because they're really cute and I really like them. So this was definitely on my to-do list for a while um, and I, I finally got around to making it. I'm not particularly happy with my color choices here, I must say. Um, there are two shades of green here and you potentially might not have even noticed that. There is a... Uh, you know, the, the light green that I'm using for the background, and then there's also this sort of deeper green that I'm using for the shadow on the ladybug, except it's not particularly working as, as a shadow on the ladybug, is it? Um, at least not in my mind. I It's really difficult to tell. I keep saying this, but it's really difficult. At least for me, it is. It's really difficult to tell what the, like, strings, what the colors are gonna look like when I start actually making the bracelet and what they're gonna look like within the pattern themselves. Because looking at the strings, like, on the sides, well, I mean, it's not on the same side anymore now, but um, looking at the strings together with, like, the dark green and the light green, they look fine as strings. Like, they always, even to me, actually, they're on my desk right now as I'm recording this voiceover, they're on my desk, like, even looking at them now, like, they look fine, they look, you know, I can tell them apart easily and I thought that they would look good as like a shadow, but to me in the bracelet, they blend together too much. They blend together too much, there's not as much of a contrast, it's not a shadow color, you know? Like, so I'm not particularly happy about that. I, I would have liked for it to be a slightly different, a slightly deeper color, maybe a different tone as well. But you know what? That's like a minor complaint on my part. I still really like how this bracelet turned out and I also really like the red here. I think the red, like the deep red and also the green for the background I think is really good. The green for the background and the deep red for the actual ladybug is really good. The only complaint I have is with the actual shadow for, you know, the ladybugs. But that's again a minor thing so I'm not too fussed about it. I actually still very much like how this turned out and it was a lot of fun to make. These repetitive patterns where you, you've literally got a bunch of repetition can be a little bit sort of tedious to make just because there's a lot of repetition but I didn't find it to be the case here, you know? I usually I do <laughs> when there's a lot of repetition I usually find a pattern to be a little bit annoying by the end of it but I didn't didn't get this with this one um so I'm very happy about that that was, that was a lot of fun but yeah uh, as I said, the next Not With Me that's coming out is going to be flowers. I have some complaints there about the colors too. I'm not too thrilled about some of the colors that I chose there. But again, I also like that bracelet quite a bit. I'm pre-filming a bunch of videos right now, which is why I've already sort of got some videos lined up for the future, which is really exciting for me because that's actually never happened to me before. The most I've had pre-filmed was maybe like two or three videos. Like if I was going away somewhere, sometimes I pre-film things. Um, or at least I, I mean I try to every single time but sometimes I'm successful <laughs> for when I'm going away um, like for example I went away to visit my sister over Christmas and then I had a little bit of a road trip with my dad after and in total I was away for like three weeks and I actually had videos lined up for all three weeks that I was gone which was really exciting I think that was like one of the first times I was successful in doing that but <laughs> it's hard you know it's really hard to pre-film but um what was I saying? My point is, I finally, actually, am quite successful this time around. I have around 10 videos currently in the bank that I am ready to publish. And I am extremely, extremely happy about that because that took a significant amount of effort on uh, both my part and also my husband's part because he's been helping me edit, which I am so excited about. Like, it was such a weird thing that happened. Um, I had to teach him how to edit, obviously, because he's never, you know, he's never done that before. And it took me quite a while to teach him how to edit, but I didn't think it would really work, but then it just did. So, you know, <laughs> he does the rough cuts for me now. Uh, so whenever I like do a tutorial or something, I will send him the files and he'll like clip it up, chop out any obvious mistakes um, or moments where I'm, you know, repeating myself a couple of times because I said it wrong the first time or something. And then he cuts out all of the bits uh, where I'm like adjusting the strings or just moments where I'm like looking for something, like looking for my scissors or something, you know, there's like dead moments in the video. And then he also uh, cuts up the moments where I'm explaining something and then speeds those parts up. 
which is a massive time saver. And so he does all of that and then he sends it to me and then I uh, finish the edit with, you know, first of all, checking that everything's right because he can edit now, but that doesn't mean he understands everything that I'm explaining. And sometimes he has like questions about like, oh, what, what did you exactly mean here? I didn't know which like part of this to keep in. Um, so he leaves things like that. And then also obviously I have to add the overlay for the pattern and to sort of highlight which areas of the pattern I'm doing when I'm explaining a tutorial. So I still, um, I still have to edit quite a bit after him, but it is amazing. Like he saves me hours of work on every single video and that is fantastic. And that has allowed me to actually film so much more than I would have otherwise because he does the rough cuts for me, which is fantastic. Like it took me a while to explain to him how to do these things, but now it's such a lifesaver and such a time saver as well. Like it's just fantastic. So huge, huge, huge thank you to him for doing that. I say thank you to him every single day for that because it's genuinely such a such a massive help. Uh, but yeah, because of that, I was able to like pre-film 10 videos um, for the next 10-ish weeks. I still, I have a full plan of everything that I wanna post until the end of August actually, like already pre-planned everything that I wanna post until then. And yeah, I'm pretty much on track to getting it done and then if I am able to get a video done until then so like a so like a video a week for every week until that last week of August which is when I'm trying to aim until then I'm just gonna start making more videos you know I'm just gonna start making more and hopefully I get to that point where I'm gonna be able to just like make more point is I'm actually gonna be doing a lot of traveling this year which I am super super excited about which is why I'm trying to get all of these pre-filmed I also just want to get ahead of the game you know just want to just want to be ahead. So all of that's really exciting. Hopefully this works out for me. So this is what the bracelet looks like in the end. It is absolutely gorgeous. I, I really, really love this pattern and I really love how it turned out. I think it's super, super cute. I'll leave the pattern linked in the description for you in case you also want to make it, along with a tutorial on how to read alpha patterns as well and how to make them. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. There's definitely more to come. As I just said, I've already got 10 pre-filmed, so there's definitely, definitely more to come at least once a week, hopefully more. My book, The Beginner's Guide to Friendship Bracelets is now out well wide and it makes for a great gift for anyone who's starting to make friendship bracelets and wants to get into this beautiful hobby. It's available for purchase anywhere you typically buy books but there is also a direct link in the description. And I also want to give a special shout out to my patrons before I go, especially my top supporters. It is with their support that I'm able to create videos on this channel so thank you so much for that. If you also want to become a patron and support the work that I do on this channel the link to that is in the description. But in any case thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And I really hope you enjoy the future videos to come, which I'm really excited about. So I will see you in my next one. Bye.